Uh, fish? Can you describe it for me? A big leather jacket? Okay, that would have been a trident trigger fish. The yellow fish as a fox face rabbit fish. Just on the bottom there on the right. Again, some unicorn fish or some elephant fish. The red banded scissor tails. You can see the red band through their silvery body just here along the right hand side. We've got some yellow tailed uh, tails just here as well with the black tips. string coral along the bottom there. It's not a rope, folks. It is a, it is a string coral. Now, folks, even though this world does look very, very uh, calm and inviting, as a fish, we only have two things that we need to worry about. The first one is where we're going to find food. There is no supermarkets down here. And the second and most important thing is how to stop becoming someone else's food. <laughs> Again, some snappers here on the left-hand side of the boat. Now, do keep an eye out for some turtles. Now, kids, listen, we need you guys to help us find turtles because they're not the easiest things to find. Oh, there's a large uh, female Maori rat just up there on the right-hand side. That's a female bumphead Maori rat. Wow. The search for the turtles begins. Now folks, we've seen the animals, we've seen the shark, we need to find a turtle. Hopefully we'll get back and see Lucy before she leaves. Again, coming up close, this is one of my favourite spots, folks, on the outer reef. This crack that we have coming up there on the right leads me into a series of underwater caves. And we go diving there at night and interact with some of our larger shark species that live in there. Now, speaking of sharks, I do realise that some of you may be looking around, secretly looking for that dreaded S animal. Trust me, folks, the only thing we have to consider as a worry today is scratching ourselves on the reef. Please be aware, folks, that, that the reef has its own sunscreen, just like us kids that need sunscreen as well around the sun. And that sunscreen, if we get under our skin, if we touch the coral and it cuts us, it can actually make it really, really bad. So the only thing we need to worry about is actually not touching the reef today. Now, okay, with all these broken corals, we are in this what we call the shallow saddle. And this is an